All right, looking at test four, uh, test three, lesson four. This is worksheet two, your homework for this evening. Okay, uh, problem number one through three in triangle MNO, the points C, D, and E are midpoints. Okay, so again, if it's a midpoint, you know that those segments are the same. Okay, um, C, D is four. C, E is eight. And D, E is seven. Okay, so there's your three values that you need to know. All right, so MO is going to be the base with the uh, mid-segment of CD. So we're just going to do 2 times 4, which is going to be 8. NO is the base of the mid-segment of CE, which is 8. So we're going to do 2 times 8, which is going to give us 16. And MN is the base of the mid-segment with 7, so you're going to do 2 times 7, which is going to give you 14. Okay. Now we're kind of working uh, backwards here. You're kind of given the base on these. So they're, again, they're midpoints, F, E, D, N, C. So W, U is 45, so that's this whole side here, or whole base there. And T, V is 31 which is here, okay? So if you wanted to find CD, that's going to be the mid-segment, okay, of the 45. So you're just going to take 45 and divide it by 2, and that's going to give you 22.5. All right, so CF is going to be the mid-segment of the 31, and ED as well is the mid-segment of the 31. Okay, so you're cutting those two in half as well. All right, 7 through 9, A, R, T are midpoints. Okay, L, B is 19, so that's the base down here. L, O is 35, that's the base up here. And O, B is 29, that's the base here. Okay, so R, T is going to be the mid-segment to the base L, B. So you're going to half 19, which is going to give you 9.5. Okay, AT is going to be the mid-segment to 35, and AR is going to be the mid-segment to 29. So again, you're halving there. All right, 10, 11, and 12, find the value of the variable. Okay, so right here you see, because of these little uh, lines, you've got that it's a mid-segment. Okay, so you're going to take exactly half of 34, and that's going to give you that X is 17. Okay, same thing for 11. Over here for 12, they gave you the mid-segment. So 2 times the mid-segment equals the base. So 14 is going to equal 2N, so your N would equal 7. All right, so for 13, they told you the perimeter of triangle ABC, the, the whole thing around, is 32. Okay. Um, so let's see what we know. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to, this is kind of a th thinking outside the box here. Okay, if this is in, then this side here is going to be 2 in. If this is 7 eighths in, then this side here is going to be 2 times 7 eighths in, which is 14 eighths, which is going to be um, 7 fourths, okay? So you had 2 in for that side, you had 7 fourths for that side, and then d twice a half would be this side, which is going to be 1 in. And that's all going to equal 32. So we're going to add that up, so that's going to be... 3, and then 7 fourths, which is going to be 12, 19 fourths, and you're going to cross multiply. So you'll set that up that way to find your n. Okay, um, right there, 14, m is just your base given there, so you're going to take the 21 and double it, and then for 15, ac is 33. BD is 37, and they want you to find EF. So EF is the half of that base, so it's going to be half of 33. 
Okay. 16, find NM using this figure over here. Okay, it tells you QR is the mid segment. If QR is 9, what is NM? Well, that's the mid segment, so you double the mid segment to get the base. And for the perimeter, find the perimeter if LMN, if LN is 12, okay, so this whole side here is 12. LM, this side here, is 31. Okay, so yeah, I'm recording. Hold on. Okay, sorry, y'all. Um, and if you look back at 16, it says use this answer for problem 17. So Whenever you found NM, you're going to use that there, and then that's going to give you your perimeter. Okay. All right. And then the last one's 18 through 20. CB and A are mid segments. FG is 27. GH is 18, and FH is 35. Okay. So they just want you to find your mid segments there. So AB, this is going to be the mid segment for FG. CA is going to be the mid segment for GH. And then once you do that, you find the perimeter of the triangle CBA. So you would have CB, you would have CA. Okay, so you find your missing side there and then combine those together. Okay, all righty. Don't forget you do have a test on Thursday, so tomorrow will be another review day.